what's up everybody welcome back um i'm trying out a new camera today so if you guys can't hear me too well bear with me i have not had a chance to test this mic out and to see what this one sounds like as opposed to my uh last setup um anyway today i am going to wow that's a lot of traffic so today my topic is electric cars such as the new tesla model s that everyone's been talking about um, Personally, I prefer gas-powered cars over electric cars, and I know that everyone's trying to lean towards the whole efficiency thing and whatnot, but I think all the gearheads are still, like, I think it's safe to say all the gearheads, every guy that's, like, into cars, it's still, we still like our gas-powered cars, you know? Uh, the Tesla Model S is an extremely fast, extremely luxurious, all-electric-powered car, but it's just, by the time you spend... I think they cost $65,000, I may be wrong. Somewhere in the $50,000 to sixty dollars or $70,000 range, those cars cost, they're very expensive. You know, for the price they want for a Tesla Model S, you could have a Mercedes, a BMW, an Audi, you could have basically any muscle car, you know, most sports cars, you know, before you get into like really, really expensive stuff like Porsche and whatnot, but like, you know, Mustang, Camaro, Challenger, you could get those cars all before you get to the price of a Tesla Model S. So why would you buy the Tesla? In the end, you're still using fossil fuel, which is the big thing. When you charge an electric car, the electricity is still coming from your wall, which is still coming from some type of power plant that burns something to make that electricity. So it's 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 it just it's all a big circle anyway. And then like let's say you want to take a road trip and you have your electric car, where are you gonna plug it up at without your garage to come home to at night, you know? It's it's a lot of little reasons like that why I just never really I never really took an interest to the electric cars. Um Back in like 2005, I think, no, I think it was before that. Back in the early or mid 2000s, uh, GM came out with a car called the EV1, and that was a very successful electric car. And uh, there was, a, I think, maybe a hundred of them in the California area, that, in the state of California, that they uh, leased out to people. And uh, GM actually ended up taking all the cars back and then scrapping them, like destroying them and shredding them for, for like metal and whatnot. And uh, a lot of people say it was a conspiracy, like they, the car was highly successful and they could have mass produced it and sold a lot of them, but they they didn't want to um, hurt the oil companies. They made like some type of deal or something. You know, the oil companies want people to buy gas and therefore buy oil, otherwise they don't have a job at the end of the day. So um, I know oil is not going to last forever and a lot of people say that, but I say burn it until the last drop is gone, you know. It's nice that we do have the technology to fully switch over to electric cars, such as the, te the Tesla Model S, and, you know, for a long time, the argument was, uh, electric cars are slow, they could never be as fast as, like, my Corvette, or my Lamborghini, and now, Tesla has proved, you know, all those people that said that wrong, because the Tesla Model S has a 0-60 to 60 time, it's under 5 seconds, I think it's well under 5 seconds, I, I want to say under 3 seconds, but I'm going to say it's under 5 seconds for sure, so, um, it's faster than, like, the Challengers, the Mustangs, the Camaros, um, it's faster than, it's just probably, it's just a little bit faster or just as fast as like a BMW M3, I mean, those cars go, they, they, they take off, the Tesla Model S is an extremely fast car, also an extremely expensive car, that, that's another thing, practicality, um, the electric cars that are out that you're not interested in, like the Nissan Leaf, there's a few more, it's a nice Subaru that just drove by. Um, see, that caught my attention. The exhaust from that Subaru caught my attention. You can't have, you know, that with an electric car. I feel like there's no fun in the driving experience with an electric car. And uh, they're not... The ones that you could afford, like the ones that average people like us could afford, like if they started at like 27 or 30, and none of them do. They're all super expensive. But that's like the Nissan Leaf, and there's some other ones out there that I don't know the name of right now. And, uh, I know there's an electric version of the smart car. Nobody likes a smart car. Come on, let's, let's get serious here. No one likes a smart car. Have you ever looked at a smart car and said, I want to own that one day? No, nobody likes a smart car. But, um, every single electric car that could be desirable because of its performance or luxury or whatnot is going to be super expensive. And by the time you have that much money to dish out on a car, you can afford the gas anyway if you were to buy, it like, an expensive gas car. That, that's my opinion, personally. I mean, the Tesla is nice, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to bash on it. It's a great thing that that company is doing and offering, but, like, at the end of the day, if I owned a Tesla, 
I would also have to have another fast car put up for the, the weekends or something. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for today before I rant on forever because I love to talk and I know I could talk forever if I didn't stop myself. Subscribe if you have a YouTube channel and then when I upload the new videos it'll come up on your homepage and uh, you know it'll be right there or you can just click on it to watch it. If you don't have a YouTube channel then you can't subscribe but um, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys next week.